okay uh, now we just showed you how to record incoming payment of 1008 okay let's go to accounts payable module we're going to post the purchases of 4000 from vendor v001 let me show you yeah purchases of 4000 from vendor v001 should be oh this thing should be the other way around on the arrow should be pointing to the other way around just correct it first because you are buying from somebody and this one is supposed to be here okay now it looks good see the purchases sun limited is buying goods worth 4000 from vendor v01 alright and then he returns 200 back to vendor v001 ok let's do it now Smaller amount, say about thousand purchases of one thousand. Huh? Otherwise, the end result of the profit and loss statement of Sun Limited will become losses because we have more purchase amount than in sales. Or maybe I make it five hundred. 500 because we already have a thousand here okay sorry about that just trying to make sure we realize the profit end of the day okay so purchases of 500 now let's do it now we go here close everything we'll go step by step financial accounting Accounts payable, document entry, invoice. Okay, I want to post the invoice. Let me select the customer vendor. Oh, this is company code test for. Let me just change the company code. It should be Sun. And uh, A amount five hundred. I need to show you something. See this here? We don't have a purchase account yet. We have a sales account, but we cannot post purchases to this account because only sales can be posted here. For purchases, we need to create an account. Okay, let's do it now. Let me check the account group first. Okay, purchases. Yeah, purchases account should have an interval of this six hundred thousand to this. Purchases are also known as cost of sales. Huh? All right, we can also call it a purchases. But nowadays in the modern accounting world, people are calling it as cost of sales, especially in in the U.S. So better stick to cost of sales then. It also means purchases. Right, let me create my first account for cost of sales. Mm, FS00. Okay, create to cost of sales. COS, COS stands for cost of sales, huh? so just abbreviation. Laptop, okay. 
I buy laptop from somebody and selling it to my customer. So, field status group is cost accounts. You can put cost accounts. All right, done. So I can use this now. I copy. We come back to invoice center screen. So I paste this here. 500 let me simulate enter validate yes please enter validate okay let's simulate all right mm -hmm. I'm buying from vendor A a laptop for 500 all right let me post it Posted. So let me check my financial statement. Counting. Sales minus cost of sales. COS stands for cost of sales. I get thousand three hundred, which is my profit. Sounds good. So now this this line is uh, capital, and you have liabilities and all that. The total of this is. 20,500 on the liability side this plus this will equate this which is on the asset side good right okay go back let me just see what is the next topic you done this you have done this step next is we need to post another purchase of thousand from vendor B002 okay let's do it now itself post it again the second vendor F4 F2 how much is that? Thousand. Post it thousand. Mm -hmm. Cost of sales is this. One thousand. Now I can post it. Post it. Now check. Let me check the financial account statement again. Our profit has reduced. Mm -hmm. See, our profit has reduced. Okay. Now let me check the vendor balances now of this guy. You know how to check the vendor balances? You have to go here, display balances. First vendor, first vendor, open all items. Hmm, this is the first laptop that we bought here, and this is the second laptop. Let me just check the other one. Thousand. Okay, which is this. All right. Now we have reversal wrongly posted purchase to vendor C002. We will see that next in the next topic.